Eric, Dr. Eric Prosnitz with the UNM Cancer Center is joining us in the Newsplex today to talk about what they're calling a major breakthrough in the fight against cancer. Thanks for being here. My pleasure. So talk about this. I know this really focuses on cancers that affect mostly women, right? Right. So what we've uh, identified at the UNM Cancer Center is uh, a compound that targets a new receptor that uh, also is activated by estrogen. And estrogen's uh, main role is in, in breast cancer. That's where it's best described. And uh, many women who have breast cancer are treated with tamoxifen, for example. But when they uh, are treated and are initially successfully treated, often it comes back later. And often those cancers are not sensitive to tamoxifen anymore. So we think that this receptor may play a role in that process. And where does this stand? I mean, this is just the beginning of what is going to be a lot of research down the road, I imagine. Right. So at this point, we've identified this compound that looks promising, but we have to conduct a number of cell studies, animal studies, now uh, cancer models, to see if it actually uh, uh, acts to, to prevent the cancer or treat it effectively. And so we're talking about any cancer, uh, a lot of like uterine cancer, ovarian cancer. Exactly. It's, it's the classical cancers that, that uh, can be uh, driven by estrogen and breast, um, endometrial ovarian cancer to some extent, uh, but we're also finding a role in some other cancers that are uh, common between men and women. And also, I was reading that some of this, may, some of this um, breakthrough might be able to be applied in other, other diseases, other conditions, right? Right. So estrogen, besides uh, being important in reproduction and, and cancer, plays a role in many other systems in the body from uh, regulating depression. Uh, it also has effects on multiple sclerosis, for example. And so we're looking at a number of disease systems to see what the effect of our compound might be. Talk about the UNM Cancer Center. I mean, the, it's a very good center here, a very good hospital. A lot of people may not realize how much research does go on here. Right. The UNM Cancer Center is one of 63 uh, National Cancer Institute designated centers in the country and as such has access to national trials for uh, current therapeutic approaches. And uh, it has a team of about 200 physicians and researchers doing work on, on various cancers. How do you think, how long, I mean, I know it's probably hard to judge, but I mean, how long do you see that this could actually be put to the test? Well, as I said, we start with models often uh, uh, in the petri dish or sometimes in, in animals then eventually. And after we've done that work, then we have to do the, te the initial testing for safety in, in people before it can ever be used for any treatment. So realistically, it's many years out before we could try it. Okay. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Thank we appreciate you. it.